At the University of Maryland's Department of Anthropology, we incorporate archaeology and cultural anthropology to study the human experience, past and present, and work to improve the human condition. We are known for our strong theoretical orientation and are nationally recognized for having an excellent program in applied anthropology. What makes our program truly unique is the numerous opportunities our students have to enhance their education and their career preparation through experiential learning. Through excavations, interviews, observations, and more, our students help preserve and enhance the understanding of cultures and communities. Well, we're in Washington, D.C., and there's any number of international organizations and agencies, uh, as well as government organizations and agencies and that are based here. So students have the opportunity to contact people, um, to network, to visit uh, agencies and maybe attend a lecture or something. Um, they can also potentially do an internship and learn more about what they do on the job and how they do it. Um, and that's a huge advantage they have here at University of Maryland as compared to other places in the country where they may not have that sort of access. And so the, the, the learning that goes on comes from books or papers. As an undergraduate, Sabrina Shirazi interned at the Smithsonian Conservation Biological Institute Genetics Laboratory, located at the National Zoological Park in Washington, D.C. There she worked with ancient and modern DNA, exploring human impact on specific fox species on California's Channel Island. When I was asked to come here, I was in my first genetics class, actually, and all of the lab training that I've got here is something that no class at any university, whether it's Maryland or Harvard, anywhere, I don't think I could have gotten that sitting in a classroom because if you do have a genetics lab, you're working with stuff that your teacher has set up and they know they're, it's going to work. But when I'm here, I see how often um, there's things that come up that you, you can't detect. So being able to make decisions on the spot has really uh, strengthened my lab skills, I believe. Recent anthropology alumnus Elliot Weil, who was hired shortly after graduation by the Maryland State Highway Administration as an extension of an internship, is assisting Dr. Shulblitsky on the excavation of an old slave quarters near Annapolis, Maryland. Finding opportunities to actually go out and do the methods is very important because that also really helps find a job. The graduate and uh, PhD students are very nice in the anthropology department, very helpful. Um, and also the professors, Dr. Leone, I've worked with the most, I believe, um, and is definitely willing to really help with like finding your career and definitely improving who you are um, as a being besides just your career as well. Recent alumni Alexis Esteman was employed directly after graduation and now works for the Lewin Group a healthcare consulting group based in Falls Church, Virginia. My advice would be to take advantage of everything that not only the School of Anthropology has to offer, but BSOS and also University of Maryland. So definitely, you know, just take the world. You can if you're an anthropology major. It's not hard to do. I mean, the reality is the sky's the limit with what you can do with a degree in anthropology, and that's because as an anthropologist, as a student of anthropology, you're learning very strong basic skills that you can use in any career. Um, you, you learn very strong writing skills, strong analytic skills, investigative skills, critical thinking skills, and cultural sensitivity. Um, and the experience you gain with a degree in anthropology can really launch your career. Experience your anthropology career at the University of Maryland.